All right, so now we're on the second round of how we can link in BIM 360, aka Autodesk Construction Cloud, I guess. This isn't about loading or setting up a project. These files are already in BIM 360. As you can see, here's an architectural model. It's in a BIM 360 project called BIM 360 Workflows-Shared Linking. This particular file doesn't have any linked files yet. If we look at the project in BIM 360, you can see the, the teams were created in the Design Collaborate side, which then automatically made these folders and docs. So here's the file that I'm in in Revit. Well, not exactly the file, but this is the file that gets updated and versioned. Consumed is empty. The shared folders are empty. So what we're going to show now is the shared method where a file, once I create a package on the timeline in Design Collaborate, is going to show up here that then can be linked. So this would be a form of static linking that I, as the architect, could create updates to, or this could be two weeks before a deadline, you create a package that is shared, and then the MEP could switch to this link for two weeks, and then after that, switch back to the live linking. That'd be an accurate description, Steve? Correct. By the way, Steve Campbell, Lake Flato BIM Manager, is on the call. So I'm going to switch over to Design Collaborate, or Design Collaboration. And then if I expand the timeline up here, I'm going to hit the plus to create a package. And then under models, I'm going to select the architectural model. And then down at the bottom left, hit save. And then I'm going to hit share. And so maybe this is architecture. 3DD, and then just the description, which isn't required. So maybe two weeks prior to DD, we're creating this static image of the project. And then I'll hit share. And now this thing's on the timeline. If I go back to Docs and open up Shared and look at Architecture, now there's this file that Steve can link in. So we're going to switch to his screen. So basically if we go to Manage, Manage Links, add a link. And there it is. Assuming origin origin. And then this is just set up already for the internal origins are going to all line up and should drop right into the correct spot. And you can sync with central. And then to show how this will work is he's now linking a different model than the live link that we showed in the previous video. So we'll switch back to me sharing in a minute. There's the linked file pointing to the shared folder. Yep. Shared architecture. Logs. Okay. All right. So now let's switch back to my screen. And so if I continue to make changes to this project, I'll just add some walls outside the building. Right, and then I'll hit save, sync with central. All right, so we can see here in uh, Autodesk Construction Cloud that just because I synced with central, the versioning hasn't changed. So we're going to switch back to Steve's screen. And so the idea here is that 
in some scenarios there's a desire to make the background static for all the files so things aren't moving around. So right now if I hit reload, because it's pointing at a static folder, nothing changed. So, for better or worse, the architects made some changes, and with this workflow, that doesn't show up. So then the question is, at some point, there is going to want to be uh, an update, and that could involve Steve going in and changing his link to the live linked file. Maybe you could go into manage links real quick and not actually do it, but just show that you can see if you were to go to reload from you could back up two folder levels, I think. Yep. All right, yeah, I guess you go straight down from here. Architecture. And then this would be changing to the live linked method that we covered in the previous video. But why don't you cancel this and the manage links dialog. And then I'll share my screen again and we'll create a new package. All right, so I'm going to go to the home page. I need to publish. So here's my project. And then I'll click Publish Latest. So now if you move over to the M360 side. You know, it says version 3. Still processing though. All right, so once this is done processing, which it is, we can switch over to design collaboration and expand the timeline. And then on the architecture timeline, I can click the plus to create a new package. And I'm going to pick the architectural model again and save. And then share. So this is at DD. DD moving forward. Hit share. And then you can see there's now multiple items on the timeline. If I go back to Docs and Shared. Now it says version 2. Yep. And so now we'll switch to your screen. So from the Manage Links file, we're just going to reload that particular link. Okay, and there's your walls. So there's an opportunity where you could, in this scenario, go from live linking and then in manage links, reload from and pick this sort of static link that's been shared. And then you could update that static shared link and then anytime the MEP model closes and opens again, it would find the new file or at some point MEP could switch back to live linking. And to do that, you would just go back, reload from, and go back to the folder that actually had the live model in it, which is the team folder architecture, not under shared. And hit open. And now this is the live version of the model. Yep, and so that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, stay tuned for another video that will show yet another way to manage linking. So of course the same steps could be applied for all the consultants looking at each file for the other consultants. Thanks for watching.